Well, things are happening, ladies and gentlemen, as Shams of the Athletic is reporting that Donovan Mitchell is a topic that's being brought up quite often between the Utah Jazz and New York Knicks as both the teams try to hash out a deal that will see one of New York's own come home and play for the guard in the backcourt alongside Jalen Brunson. It's also worth noting that the Bleacher Report's Jake Fisher is reporting that Donovan Mitchell likes the thought of getting in the backcourt with Jalen Brunson. That was a piece to the puzzle that helped sell Mitchell on going to New York and being part of that new backcourt for the Knicks. Again, things are ever so moving, but keep in mind the Knicks have eight first-round picks over the next few years that they could potentially trade four of their own and then four of them that they've acquired via trades. Apparently, Quentin Grimes, according to Shams, is a player that the Utah Jazz have been interested in in quite some time and continue to keep their eyes on in the Knicks. I think the biggest question here is, what will the New York Knicks include in this draft from a player standpoint? Will R.J. Barrett be traded? Will Julius Randle be traded? If the Knicks are able to somehow, some way, get Jalen Bronson, get Donovan Mitchell, and get Julius Randle to form a new big three in MSG. Y'all see what I did there? I'm not saying they'll be the number one seed, the number two seed, the number three seed out east. But right around where DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, and the Chicago Bulls are, around four or five out east, somewhere in between three to six, there is a spot for the New York Knicks with that nucleus. That is a good basketball team. They don't play a lot of defense, but they sure as heck can beat you to 120 night in, night out in the NBA. That is something. It'll be the best tandem that New York has put on the court since they tried to go the Amari Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony route. On paper, that looked great. It did not... Uh, manifest on the court like many Knicks fans would have liked. But again, that's the latest. Donovan Mitchell apparently is up for sale. Nobody's off the table for the Utah Jazz that seemingly are in full rebuild mode right now. Danny Ainge has apparently put it out there in the atmosphere that Donovan Mitchell is not a guy that he looks at as a number one in a franchise altering player. It's been reported multiple times throughout the week in Coon Woj of ESPN that the Jazz are now willing to listen to offers, and Sham is taking it a step further. He's saying that the Jazz and Knicks are currently on the phones trying to work out a deal that would probably send a lot more picks to Utah. They already got a bunch of picks from the Minnesota Timberwolves last week in the Rudy Gobert trade. It looks like they're probably going to add a few more in the upcoming days. I expect this trade to get done, and once it does get done, your boy will be the first to let you know.